Welcome to America Reads. In today's activity, we will be focusing on some math. And today's standard is interpret products of whole numbers, interpret 5 times 7 as a total number of objects in 5 groups of 7 objects for each. Let's get started. Starting with our first problem, it says um, group 6. Five people and each person has three basketballs. How many basketballs do they all have in total? Now when it's asking how many they have in total, it's basically asking you how many basketballs do they all have together. So to solve this, we really have to focus on multiplication and put an equation together. So. Um, I'm going to go through and actually underline the important information that they give us, which means that they have three basketballs, that sounds important, and there's five people, whoops, that's also important. So to put an equation together, we're going to do five multiplied by three, and that's going to give us the number that they all have together. So, 5 times 3 equals 15. So now, that gives us the amount of basketballs that they all have. Another easy way um, until you get comfortable with multiplication is you can do a drawing. So let's say we have 5 people, right? My little stick figures here. This is just, if you're not that comfortable with multiplication, you can do little drawings to figure out the, the problem. So there's five people. Each one has three basketballs. So we're gonna draw three basketballs right next to them because each person has three basketballs, right? So there we go. Now each person has three basketballs. Now you can actually go through and just count the basketballs in total to get your answer. So one, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 15 basketballs in total, and that would give you your answer here. Now, in this group, which is group number 7, we have, it says, 6 people and each person has 2 soccer balls. How many soccer balls do they all have in total? So again, I'm going to go through, underline the important parts, so two soccer balls, that's important. And how many people we have, that's also important. So now, again, we have to go through and put an equation together that would give us our solution. So again, we have to use multiplication, but if you're not comfortable with multiplication, you could do such thing as doing a little drawing and adding. But again, the goal is to put a multiplication equation together. So. Since we have six people and each person has two soccer balls, then that means that we're going to multiply six by two. And this is basically telling us that each person has two soccer balls. And six times two equals to 12. And that would give you your answer. Or you can do something similar to what I did in the previous problem and do a little drawing and then count if you're not comfortable with multiplication. But again, the goal is for you to get comfortable with writing equations like this. Okay, so now for our third and final problem or a group that we're trying to solve. Um, our problem says 12 people and each person has two books. How many books do they all have in total? So again, it's asking how many books do they all have together? That's what total means. Total is just asking how many do they all have together? So with this question, since we're working with a bigger number, it's really not convenient. It's not recommended that you do a drawing because then that would take you forever. So here we have to stick to just multiplying. So. Like we did in the others, we're going to go ahead and underline the important information that they give us. So in this case, it's two books. That looks important to me. And then how many people we have, which is 12. So 
um, again, we're just gonna multiply these two numbers. So 12 multiplied by two gives us 24. And that would be how many books you have in total. So with questions like this, the bigger the numbers, the more uh, recommended it is that you just stick to multiplication instead of doing drawings, only because it's faster and easier for you. Thank you for learning with us today. I hope you come back soon and learn some more with me. Please comment if you have any questions, like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll be back with tons of new fun activities.